In this video, we're going to be looking at everything that relates to uploading PDF files and setting up your project in H2X. So first thing I'll probably point out is that sometimes if you're working on a small screen like I am, and the, the buttons can take up quite a bit of space. So if you want a bit more real estate, um, a handy tip is if you just hold control on your keyboard, press minus a couple of times, you'll be able to zoom out to a, to a level that you find suitable. Um, but once you've done that, First thing you want to do is, so when you log in, you're granted with this blank workspace. So you can just upload a PDF file here. And we'll just start with the ground floor first. So you select the architectural file, upload it, and then give it a couple of seconds, and it will then um, be imported into this workspace. So the first thing I always recommend to do is, if you click on this PDF, um, in the title block, if the scale has been wrote, written clearly, so like 1 to 100 at A1, the software's algorithm would usually recognize that and bring it in at the right scale. Uh, if you've uploaded a scan document or someone that's not very clear on the scale, then you will need to manually override it. So just to show you how to do that, find a dimension on the drawing. So this could be ideally something like where the architect has shown uh, the dimension there, but if you don't have that, a doorway, or something that you know the distance of, you can use. Then in the properties here, you can just plot A and B on top of these grid lines. And then this will tell you. So 3.41, which uh, in meters, that's pretty much uh, exactly the same in millimeters. So we can see it's coming at the right scale. For example, if this showed a, um, a number like 6.82, you know that it's, it's coming at the wrong scale. So you, you can just type in a different number there, click calibrate, and it will scale to the correct length. Uh, but we don't need to do that here, which is good. Next thing is you can crop the drawer in. So very simply, you can click on the PDF and uh, yeah, just bring it into where you want. When you do an export of a PDF from H2X, it will produce another title block. So you can get rid of the, uh, the one that comes on your drawing if you'd like to. Next thing that's important is H2X is displayed in 2D, but does think in 3D. So that's both for calculation reasons and also for when it exports into Revit. So every every floor has a level. Um, so this one has an RL of 15. So on the left-hand side here, you can pop this box out. It starts uh, as ground floor, which you can change the text there if you'd like to. And then you can also enter in the, enter in the height. So. I'll type in 15 there. And now the H2X will know when it, when it starts doing the calculations uh, what the floor level is. So that's in relation to like float, like water mains um, and other levels as well. If you're just doing a single level building, that's pretty much everything you need to do. Um, but we're not here. So I'll show you how to, um, if you want to add some more levels, what you need to do. So first of all, you can see these grid lines on the screen, which you can turn on and off down here. So we'll turn that one on. <clears throat> and the floor plan does lock every now and then just so you don't move it by accident so if you're ever struggling to move it click to unlock it and then you just want to line up this grid line with a grid line uh, on the drawing you've uploaded so i'll pick a 1c if you don't have consistent grid lines like lift cores are very good as well uh, but in this case we can just grab pdf at that grid line Move it across here, and we can just drop that on top of where the uh, H2X grid line is. And the reason for doing this is now when we come to do add an extra level, so to add an extra level, you can click level above, level below. That will autofill. So um, like here, it's gone to level one. You can, again, override that if you want to and override the height. And then you just need to upload your PDF again. So we've got this typical level one and level two PDF here. So if you don't, if you'd scaled the last one, you'd need to scale this too, but we know that's correct. So if we just get back to where we were, we can crop that drawing again. And we just want to upload, sorry, we want to align it. So we find that common grid line again, bring it across to the H2X grid line. And if we just do a quick flip between these levels, we'll see now that, that um, the building's in the same place. So when you're drawing light rises between levels, they're coming up in the correct location. 
and then we can see the RL is uh, is at 19, so it auto fills to 18. But uh, yeah, if you need to change it, it's the way to do it. And then if you've got typical levels like this one here is a level one and level two. You can copy and paste, so you can use the, uh, the copy button here or control C on your keyboard. Go to the level above um, and do paste. And the, the benefit of doing this is it comes in in that exact same place. So it's very quick if you've got table PDFs to keep uploading them. A tip as well is you can always upload the PDF like this and then replace it. So if you've got to scale them, it's quite a tedious process. You can just scale one, copy it up to the next level and then replace it with a, with a new PDF. Um, and that's probably it for that part. And then I'll just show you getting into some more I suppose, advanced things now. If you ever have a, um, a design from an architect that's over two different drawings, you can put those into H2X as well. So I've got an example here. So say we've got this building where there's a north and a south. Um, so that's north. You just have to upload them one at a time as well. They come in the same place. So what's happening here is the building looks something like this, but there's a on grid line 10 here, there's a bit on, on each drawing. So and I should just mention as well, if you did ever have like, this is a bit of an exaggeration, say this was a site plan and it had some building layouts that you wanted to upload, you could upload those building layouts and show them on top. So you can overlay lots of drawings in one location or on one level. So you can kind of build your own layout really. Um, but to go back to show you what we we're going to do, so, Pretty much just going to crop to a typical level. Sorry, a typical grid line. So we can come down here to where it's level 10. We'll try and crop that in the middle. And we'll do the exact same for this one. So I'll come into the middle of level 10. Also crop this. And then we can just move them so they touch. So something like that. And once you can move off in from the floor plan space into the plumbing workspace, that's when you can, um, you, it's just treated like one PDF then. So it gets, uh, you can just draw over it as you like. So you can build that as much as you want. You can add quarter drawings if needed. And then so the last thing to show you would be um, when you do come to replace a PDF. So let's say the architect's changed his mind now. This level two is gonna turn into the roof. So what you can do, because you've already uploaded this, click to replace, find the roof drawing, and that should come up in the air. It's a little bit off, so we can just move it across. Um, rename it. Uh, yeah, RL22, so that's right. Um, yeah, for example, we don't need that basement now. That was just to show you, so we can delete that basement. And this was the last handy little tip is if you draw on your pipe layouts and you wanted to move the PDF from below it, as I'll just show you now. So let's say we we had a pipe coming in here um, and we needed to move that. So with the PDFs unlocked, you're going to hold, sorry, taking a step back. If you want to move that, it moves with it. So that just allows you to move everything at once. That is a problem though, if the PDF's in the wrong place. So what you can do, if you hold shift on your keyboard and then move, it moves the PDF without the um, without anything that you've drawn, which is pretty useful. And that's about everything. So um, yeah, good to go. And after this, we'll, in the next video, we'll start to look at the settings.